गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास लेट एस कंटिन्यू विथ द नेक्स्ट सीन ऑफ द थर्ड एक्ट ऑफ रोमियो एंड जूलियट सो फेर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड द फर्स्ट थ्री सीन्स ऑफ द थर्ड एक्ट नाउ दिस इज द फोर्थ सीन इट्स अ वेरी वेरी ब्रीफ काइंड ऑफ सीन द फोर्थ सीन Mm, and it happens in uh, as you see here um the place is a room in capulet's house and the characters present are uh, capulet that is juliet's father then uh, this is lady capulet that is juliet's mother and this is paris that is uh, the young uh, county uh, aristocratic man uh, who is a suitor uh, for juliet that is he wants to marry juliet before uh, this scene uh, too we have seen that he uh, talks about juliet to juliet's father now again he has come here uh, to ask for juliet's hand from her father and uh, it's the time of this scene is the night of uh, the fateful day the night of uh, a very disturbing day that is uh the day when tybalt is the day when actually romeo and juliet are married uh in the morning and after that mercutio had a fight with tybalt in which mercutio is dead after which um tybalt is killed uh, by romeo who becomes very angry uh, to have his friend mercutio killed and later on the prince comes there and he banishes romeo from um, verona and now he has to go to uh, mantua another city in italy and uh, uh, we know that in the third um, in the third uh, scene um you know, friar lorenz has consoled romeo and before that juliet is crying for both uh, her cousin tybalt as well as romeo so this is this scene is in the background of all these happenings in the same day which is a monday that we come to know um, during the discussion in this scene so paris wants to marry uh, juliet and he has come there and it is the night time now uh, juliet's father capulet is complaining that it is already too late and he he should have been in bed by the time because he is an old man and he uh, prefers uh, to go to bed early mm, and uh, meanwhile lady lady Capu- lady capulet is also uh there and she says uh, it's it's a uh, difficult to know her daughter's mind uh, that because it is too early after the death of that death of her cousin tybalt um, so um, capulet tells uh, paris uh, that uh, let us make it that is the marriage between uh, juliet and paris on the coming thursday so this is monday and it is decided that their marriage will take place uh the mm, thursday of that same week in st peter's church and uh, it will uh, as it is the morning period that is uh, it is soon after the death of tybalt they decide that uh, there will be few guests for the marriage 
and uh, paris is very happy and uh, capulet uh, orders his wife uh, to go to juliet before um, going for sleep before going to bed the mother should go to her daughter that is juliet and uh, prepare um, her her mindset uh, to marry paris on the uh, on the thursday of uh, that week so this is the scene in which the marriage between uh, paris and juliet is uh, decided it is fixed and this is the irony of the situation here the dramatist uses a very important dramatic device that is irony of situation because we as the audience or the reader we know that juliet is already married to romeo and she is deeply in love with romeo and exactly opposite to this is happening here because her father and mother and the um, suitor that is paris they don't know that the girl is already married and they are talking about her marriage actually they have decided uh, her marriage without having her consent so this is uh, uh, this is an interesting situation in the play as far as the plot as far as the development of the plot is concerned now here plot is getting complicated because it is the um, marriage the, the marriage between Ju juliet and paris is uh, fixed when juliet is already married and her husband has been banished from verona because because of her own cousins murdered by murder by him so this is a very complication complicated situation as far as the plot of the play is concerned so this is the uh, fourth scene of the third act and now only uh, one scene remains in this act which is uh, uh, quite longer compared to the earlier scene that is the fifth scene uh, of the third act and then the third act act comes to an end um so um, here we stop and 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 in tomorrow's video you will come across the last that is the fifth scene of the third act of romeo and juliet uh, the great romantic tragedy by william shakespeare thank you